Yeah, hello, and welcome back again. So, here we go, another Hot Toys unboxing and review. This time we have Captain Rex, another clone trooper to Gomi collection. Basically, I try to pick this guy up because I normally get a lot of my stuff from Toys Wonderland. That's where I get a, a, the vast majority of my stuff from that or Comic, Comic Santorum because you get them quicker and usually they work out to be the cheapest place. This guy was a lot different. This guy, you couldn't pick him up cheap at like basically on any of the, the sort of Hong Kong sites which is unusual I actually ended up picking this one up from Sideshow and even though it cost us extra to get him shipped into this country which you don't have from Hong Kong that's why I normally choose Hong Kong to get me stuff from because when they come from Hong Kong they put down a certain price so therefore the customs people don't really sort of hit them Whereas Sideshow put down the original thing in customs actually bangs on I think it worked out 50 quid extra for this guy But luckily even with that 50 quid extra on I still got him roughly for about the price If not just slightly cheaper than what I would have from getting it from Hong Kong So that's what I've done it for you know, I, I knew it when I'd worked out my pricings I thought even with the added income of it coming in I'll still get it slightly cheaper than what I can from Hong Kong at the minute. That's worthwhile to me. So there we go, guys. Again, you have the usual standard Star Wars style boxes. I love this front thingy, and I love the fact that you've got a picture of the actual character himself with his head sculpt there, which looks phenomenal. Nothing much to talk about on the side. But the band goes around. You've got your warnings. I won't have it on the back. Another excellent picture on the front there. Showing the character thingy. And... Basically, Star Wars written on the top. This one is your usual sort of shoe box style affair. You take the shoe box top off. You have once again another fantastic picture of the character done in another way with another pose. But they're always cool. And you can drop that down. And once again, you get just have a sneak peek of what's inside. But we're not here to have a sneak peek, we're here to have a look at it anyway. So let's get the stuff out and have a look at everything that it comes with first. And here we go with the accessories, guys. Again, we've got a fair decent amount. The only things I find strange, again, is the fact you get an odd number of hands compared to the other side. You know, why? Why not give it an even equal amount of hands to interchange? The more hands you can interchange, for me, the better. Also, obviously, with these ones, you don't get the actual wrist pegs in them. Sideshow, a lot of sideshow figures itself, not Hot Toys ones that you get from sideshow, but sideshow figures themselves. They always seem to do the right thingy, which is to actually put inside of each one of these would have an actual wrist peg. Yeah, each one individually would have its own wrist peg, which I think is an amazing idea, and it should be carried on. Hot Toys should do that. Yeah, they should definitely do that without a shadow of a doubt. But go through the usual stuff, which is the wrist pegs. You get spare ones because that's always needed, and then you're going to wreck them in place. You have the crotch grabber or the waist grabber. But again. Has a little bit of the foam in there but not a great deal and yeah, it's quite sort of nice and tight but you've got to watch because of how tight it is it's the dog knocking stuff out as well because of how tight it is it's grabbing onto the waist and making it sort of it could potentially damage it so you have to, have to be careful of that again you have your dynamic flight pole which has the standard style one now with these ones it does feel quite sturdy and a bit larger than the one I had in the last figure by the looks of it but you never know we also have the normal style base which beats hands down the ones you get with them with the Mandalorian ones you know with the feet in the sand things I'd rather have something like this then again I'd rather have just this plain sand with no thingy on it all you know and again the metal nameplate but again, for me, I don't use these things, you know, not if I can help it. There's a few figures I've got the way I've got no choice but to, but if I can help it, I won't. You have this thing, which I am not sure, because there is no thingy there to move his eyes or anything for, 
so we'd have to end up looking at the instructions of why the hell we have this thing because they're usually used for like a pause style system you know to, to move the eyes around and what are you but I can't see what these are for on this one but, uh, we'll look at the instructions at some point and find out what it's for and then I'll be like ah there you can that's what it's used for but anyway you have this flight pack which is great this bit does it come out the way it does on some of the other ones I don't want to pull too hard but it possibly could come out by the looks of that but I'm not going to pull too hard just in case because there isn't a like they get with a lot of them I mean that might be able to plug into the bottom of it and have that sitting in there I'm not sure but I do know that they obviously go in there right that's what I do know but we'll have a look at that in a second because right now we're looking at this which you can see the weathering on it is absolutely brilliant it looks like it's dirty and grimy and seen a better days that's a battle hardened style thing to it and of course the things are missing from here which means it should be literally magnetized on which is always great I'm better trying to fiddle on trying to really stick to get them on which one had those stupid little thingies and then you had to try and hook them over the top oh they were a nightmare what a nightmare they were but that is actually fantastic you know with the, the scuffing the dirtiness to it the griminess to it you know the colouring and everything it's, it's just it's beautiful 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 piece that and of course you get two of these things which is the sort of flame effect that could come to the bottom of his jetpack um, they're cool um, really cool so you can see how the, how the translucent at the bottom end going to a deeper sort of orange and sort of reddish thing at the very bottom very very cool again we have this thing which goes over his goggles which is like a visor thing I would be careful of that because as you can see they're all moving that so they do have a bit of give in them but you know for fuck yourself guys that there's times when things can happen and they they could snap chances of me having that on the figure i probably doubt it you know if i did i would have it just up with the way but i would still be very very weary of even doing that because some of my figures do have a habit of falling down at times because i don't use the stands and i would hate for that to break but it's still you know before we put it down it still looks good it's still sort of weathered nicely you know what i mean it's kind of cool the way they've done it and of course we have this bit which again something i probably would never use but it's like a light that goes on the side of his helmet again sort of so wear that quite nicely shame it doesn't obviously light up but then again i wouldn't use it even if it did so it's pretty much cooler that's the way it is we also have this thing which is basically like i think you just It would come off, but that by the way, they've been glued down, so I'm not going to pull at them any more than that. Um, but it'll be sort of basically almost looks like an ammo pouch style thing, even though they don't really sort of, as far as I'm aware, don't have anything you have to use ammo. But and then you can see there where that literally it must be a case of that again, it's just going to be magnetized, which is very good. Very good. We have one gun totting hand which has the scrapes on I think these are like for his kills which I think is a really cool sort of effect and you can still sort of see still see the we'll just home in on that come on you little bugger you can still see sort of the weathering and what have you there you do have another gun totting hand there same effect same style with the actual etchings on same with these ones, that's his sort of double finger pointing hand. Single finger pointing hand. And thumbs up. Cool, but you know, again, the more hands you get for these figures, the more gestures you're going to be able to give, which I think is cool. You have this orange helmet which i think looks really cool you know still battle damaged nicely 
got the sort of greasiness to it, the kind of the dirt, the grime, and everything else like that. I just think it looks kind of cool. I love the vibrancy of the orange in that. You know, I mean, that looks wicked. We have his dual pistols, which I'm only going to show you the one because they're both exactly the bloody same. You know, these ones though, it's like, okay, you've got the thingy of making all the other stuff sort of look weathered and look like they've seen battle. These things are like clean and crisp. Now, I know it's a case of, well, you're supposed to keep your weapon clean in order to make sure it works properly, but there's still a case of, you know, that other all the time going to have the time to constantly clean them. It's hard to say. Plus, I haven't really watched Clone Wars that much. I'm busy trying to work my way through it now. But that's the nice but that's just very very clean same with this one you know it's nice but it's also extremely clean it just suffer with the same effect as all the other ones do uh, of course you know that's supposed to be able to go back as far as i'm aware you know but it, it's just not going to though know, you can use it i suppose to rest it like that but to me as far as i'm aware that's supposed to go back and be used as a bloody Hill, but I could be wrong, you yeah, know, but still cool looking, just very, very clean. And then, of course, the main thing you want to see, which most of you have probably already seen, the Tamara Morrison head sculpt, which is just absolutely amazing. As per usual, you know, the Hot Toys have done an absolute bang on job, you yeah, know, and it's a case of like, love this head sculpt. Love how it looks. I already have Cody over there with his head sculpt on, which is the first time ever I think I've ever used anyone where they've had a head sculpt as well as uh, the mask that they wear, and I've used the head sculpt. Yeah, that's the first time ever. This one now I've got the thingy of like, right, what do I do? Do I use this one as well and have another head sculpt because it is absolutely phenomenal and looks fantastic. Yeah, it is bang on. Or you have, which you will see in a moment, the actual sort of thingy, because you do have a choice between putting this one on it, and you also have the blue one on, which I love the blue one with what looks like sort of the little Yaz style thing on it. I think that looks just so cool as well. So it's a case of like, which one do you go with? That's gonna be the hardest choice, and I've got to, I'm gonna to have to weigh that up as I look at them on the shelf at the time. But for now, Everything was some kind of cool, and we'll now get out the character, and we will show you Captain Rex himself. And there is Captain Rex, how he comes straight out of the box. You can see, obviously, he's just having a couple of extra hands on there, doing a different sort of gesture. One of them for holding onto the barrel of the longer gun, which is cool. And you obviously you can see on the sides here that he does have the holsters for his dual pistols. And again. This is the one thing I would worry about if he falls, is that thing snapping off, you know, because it does look like it could be quite fragile. So we'd have to be careful with that, I think, guys. I mean, it might be something that I might look at swapping out, but, you know, I, I like it up there. I think it looks kind of cool. But let's bring him in. Let's take a closer look at him and see what else we have. Yeah, you know, it's kissing me getting down under me bloody knees. Oh, God, I'm getting old, guys, I'm getting old. And there you go, guys, that's Captain Rex's helmet, close up. See, this is what I like. I like that helmet with what looks like the sort of the, I don't know, it could be ears or it could be sort of sort of mad sort of eyes at the top, depending on really the way you look at it. But the fact that he has the kills again on the helmet, I think that is great. The fact that it's got like all the sort of the grime and the dirt and the battle damage scoring and all that type of stuff around it. I just think it looks really cool, you know. It, it, they do a damn fine job of making them look so goddamn realistic to what you would think they would be like if they'd been out. And, you know, I mean, you've even got like what looks like the welded marks where he's welded that front end onto that one. You know, I think that's cool because that does look like a weld and it is raised. You know, so it, it, it has got that potential of being like it's been welded on. Now that is great. And you've got the pauldron, which is blue. And it does have, when you look at it, 
close up you can see because in the camera because of the light shining on it you're not being able to see it properly but there is like a sort of like, almost like a dirt style feature in there as well you know which is cool that you've got that the same as what you've got on the figure itself you know you have all that sort of dirty look to it like he's been out there a while been battling again you've got the same thing here look like it's been two separate pits welded together it is raised so it does look and feel like it's welded you know which i think is just absolutely brilliant the way they've done that you know the character looks amazing you can see where his backpack will go on oh, his jetpack you know you've got the backs of the arms are sort of slightly different in the way that done the scuffing marks and everything are slightly different so they haven't just like done it in one way and then thingied it on that bit is stuck on thankfully and I do have this which is just material you know, nice soft material doesn't have any wires in it which is a bit of a shame because it would have been nice to be able to sort of pose it up a little bit you know have it maybe like it looked like it was being blown back in a windy day or something like that but it's not a thingy you got the back end split cut boot design which is cool and again you've got all the things there which are always slightly different if you look at the two knees ones you can see they've been painted it slightly differently they've got the different scuffs and thingies on them so that's always cool to see you'd hate to see them just having thingy where it's been the same thing i mean yes these characters all these will be in the same place on everybody's thingy but it's a case of like each leg is different so that it doesn't sort of stand out to be to be like manuf mass manufactured you know you look like you're getting your one-off sort of thing but that's kind of cool let's see what we we'll have when it comes to articulation the polar are not going imagine being something that's going to cause a bit of an issue because especially as it by the looks that doesn't come off at all you know it is stuck so it will be stuck in that position it's hard plastic but you can look down that far you can look up that far you do it really don't have any articulation that way by the looks like you know, it's, it's so small it's just not even noticeable and of course you do have I think though to get that way on you're gonna have the trouble with the pauldron you know what I mean but that way it can go pretty much to there so that's not so bad going up these arms will go out to roughly 90 before the pauldron will stop it you got the same effect on this one because for the thing is even though these are on elastic so you can sort of move them out the way but it's not really going to go up beyond the 90 you do have a butterfly joint in there it like, i mean it won't literally unless you take it out over it's not going to go up beyond that because of that thing but this one obviously that one will all right but if yeah so what is technically your left won't go up because of this which is a crying shame and it's literally you're stuck with it literally going no further forward than pretty much that before it'll, it'll spring back down slightly which is really sort of a bit crappy if on that respect like to be perfectly honest with you should have made that i would have been thinking it will go back slightly further you do have bicep movement the joint in the arm will go to basically 90 can't really get any further because of the thing there but at least it goes to 90 you don't really get much the way thing it will go up a little bit but then you're going to get the in, like sort of an unsightly thing there and it will sort of spring back a bit the twist guys you get a little bit but it's coming from mainly the hip but it's only a small amount and you're not really getting much in the way of flexion in either direction so uh, there you go and that's a typical thing with these things and this is where the, the thing sort of things oh ratcheted leg joint which is kind of cool if you move that round you'll obviously get up further if you wanted that at the front you're going to get slightly less you know what i mean so if you move that round you will get one notch higher 
but then it's gonna look a bit strange that he's so I think he's a little bit in the wrong place but there you go guys yeah going back over you're back at the normal style thingy because obviously this big being solid you ain't gonna go back any further than that you do have movement in the hip flexor there it will go out quite a nice way there i mean that's that's sort of nice how far out that's going to go that way not on a ratchet like you know, the ratchet's going forward and backwards it isn't going out over and then the knee you'll get to literally just just beyond 90 but only just beyond 90 again whether that's to do with this bit or whether it's just the way that they do it it's thingy ankle articulation oh you see i've literally just just pulled that off just trying to move the ankle articulation for you guys you know um so you've got a bit of ankle articulation and you will have side to side flexion forward and back motion though you haven't got loads of it because again this is stopping it you know that's what's going to stop it is this bit coming down that way is going to stop any sort of too much in the way of a downward motion on it which is a shame you know always a shame when you've got something that hinders your ability to pose up something and make it look absolutely amazingly fantastic but it is cool you can alter stuff around a little bit to try and give yourself a bit more range of motion but there he is guys that is what you're getting with them that is the range of motion some of it is a little bit bad you know which is a shame because it's always good to have as much range of motion as you could and if they'd made that polarant with a softer material it could have then probably come forward with he's actually the way it probably would have done in the actual movies and that yeah it would have moved forward it wouldn't have been made solid like that it would have been made so that he could have as much movement as he could otherwise what would be the freaking point in it yeah but he looks cool i can't wait to put him with the rest of me stuff it's just now the case of well what do i do do i have him like this which i really do love that helmet or do i have him with the tomorrow morrison head sculpt on which i will show you what it looks like now and there it is and from a distance it does look slightly like it's raised too high um but it is on as far as it will go so therefore that is what you are thinking with you, know, you can't just sort of tilt his head in a little bit and it won't look quite as bad but he will be looking sort of slightly down you know but that that head scope is fantastic you know i mean what i'll tell you what i'll bring the commander cody across as you can see the two head sculpts together and then i'm going to work out which one i'm going to have with a head sculpt on and which one i'm going to think because i don't think i can have both of them off but you never know because they're all that freaking good there you go guys that's the two of them you know both fantastic head sculpts i can't even choose which one i like the best out of those two yeah but it is a case of like do i want both of them with the head sculpts on you can see captain rex sort of stands slightly taller than commander cody but again they're just they're both fantastic figures you know they're both well worth having they're both highly recommended by me though it would be nice if they had slightly more in the way of articulation but when you're doing something like this it's it's cool enough you know and it is a case of now finding out how i want to display them that's going to be the toughest part and i think the display will change quite a bit until i get to the point where i'm like right that's it that's the one i love, I love that yeah but there you go so they're both looking out getting the order 66. thanks very much for watching guys i really do appreciate it please be feel free to make a comment i always comment back yeah um it's just one of them things with me i like to comment back to people you yeah, know i don't ever ask you to put likes on stuff because that's up to you if you want to put a like on there that is amazing that is truly welcomed but i'm not gonna beg you for anything like that yeah that's entirely up to you but yeah if you like to comment i will comment back if not guys hopefully i will see most of you in the next one this is the bearded nerdy wolf this is Captain Rex, this is Commander Cody, and we are out of here.
So what I believe you were trying to say is thank you. Thank you? You're welcome. What? No, no, no. I, I didn't. I wasn't. Why would I ever say <laughs> okay, that? I okay. mean, 